whenever you are hurt hurt thought goes no don't cooperate with that hurt this is called the practice of vairagya don't co- you are hurt let us say your wife said you are an idiot you are hurt don't cooperate with it don't support it see my wife said i hurt how unlucky i am why unlucky going 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 then you make a mountain out of a molehill so therefore simple in companies programs i say you get hurt you experience that hurt don't support it how do you support it by your self talk how do you support it by your sorry locky don't support it practice why i am hurt i am hurt experience that hurt again it's to see my father also hurt me no push it aside no i am hurt so don't cooperate with your hurts don't support don't add masala to the hurt and just experience that hurt be in harmony with that hurt don't be in conflict with the hurt is another very big topic my watch is against me now in my personal excellence book for the co- companies all of you should get and read it i have said this gita tells you to create a harmony in conflict not a conflict in conflict you are hurt create a harmony don't don't support the hurt when you support the hurt you are creating a conflict with conflict so if you can create a harmony in conflict don't cooperate with the hurt nigrahitani sarvashah all right and therefore krishna says abhyasenu tu kaunteya one who practices tasya pragnya pratishtita then is pragnya yes wisdom becomes pratishtita not by simply bahating the veda bahating the scriptures right but by practicing like this when you practice like this your pragnya pratishtita right so therefore always it is said you know now i have to end now it is always said this is if you practice it is atma anugraha right but for all vedanta practice all this not only atma anugraha you need you need guru anugraha you need ishwar anugraha and therefore i like to end up in 10 minutes by saying most important you have to take blessings for everywhere you have to take blessings blessings especially i will say as i have to give ending notes especially from your parents so please repeat after me matra devo bhava नो दम पितृदेव भव आचार्य देव भव राइट फॉर ऑल दीज टीचिंग्स आई एम सेइंग आउट ऑफ डीप एक्सपीरियंस वेरी डीप एक्सपीरियंस व्हाट एवर बी योर एफर्ट इफ यू डोंट गेट गुड ब्लेसिंग्स नथिंग इज पॉसिबल द स्पिरिचुअल मॉर्निंग बूट कैंप इज लाइफ ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग इट इज फाइव डेज and it is not going to be information it is transformation i will teach you how to add life to your years rather than adding years to your life then you will grow up rather than grow old the link is there join and take a dip into transformation so therefore first all of you first get blessings from your mother for me personally my greatest inspiration in my life has been my mother i'm not saying because she seated from me her blessings is what is where i am right now i've seen her constantly serving constantly helping people and that's a great role model for me so therefore blessings from the great from your parents right gives you a greatest prakshalanam can you use the word cleansing you have to cleanse please see it is said this body is cleansed by snanam all of you say body is cleansed by bathing no your emotion is cleansed by bhakti your intellect is cleansed by knowledge body is cleansed by what loudly by snanam bathing your emotion is cleansed by bhakti your buddhi is cleansed by gnana and our scripture says your dana your wealth you know is cleansed by danam it says i am saying this for a certain purpose 
your wealth is cleansed by pranam so all four cleansing always anna dane cha sarvada always cleanse your wealth also has to be cleansed by dana because the wealth we get so many people give me donations all right but the donations so many people can get can be from so much of papa and punya they have done so therefore when we receive money you receive money you are receiving so much of punya and papa and the scripture says you may receive punya and papa as men you have to cleanse this wealth by giving by giving because you have received money so much of punya and papa we don't know you have to give it by giving there so therefore first cleanse it by giving to your mother giving to your father matra devo bhava pitra devo bhava then acharya devo bhava like even the, the beautiful verse is there boat is there there is water water enters into the boat what happens the boat drowns boat gets sunk so what does a boatman do takes water and throws it out throws it out we can do so to also you and i have received so many things punya and papa has come to us so we have to empty our boat and emptying your boat start first with giving to your mother giving to your father giving to the guru giving to this so four cleansings if you do then you can receive blessings and the four cleansings is ba take your sharira by snanam emotion by bhakti this by gnana and lastly your wealth by dana and therefore first matr devo bhava pitr devo bhava acharya devo bhava with this blessing when a grace happens your life becomes very very different so practice dana by first serving your parents